Life in a world that keeps changing Think that it's progress you're making Copy and paste pretty faces All the time Picture so perfect we play Nigeria, what I don't pass Gary, my people, Nigeria matter don't become if you talk too much, then you have to pay with any two ABC you get. Is either they enter your house, your family, or any two ABC you take the happy way they give you joy. This building where you just see now, Nigeria government demolition. Like, I don't understand. I feel the talk and say for you to demolish house is either you give the house to the widow or you give them to the next privilege. I feel this man pain. This is inhuman. My God. This man will see for you an evil man. Now the house will be say don't build go far. Now they demolish for the man. I see if old man like this can they cry. This will not be so not be own uh, own movie, not be video. Now na, na, na real life, you know say this thing touch on. Everybody knows say these days to buy a bag of smith, you know how much it cost. To carry sand, you know how much it cost. Not to talk of building where we say don't go high, not be only one, not be two. You just bring gun down for no reason. My people, Nigeria, eh, you don't pass, be careful. All right, my wonderful people. Make I drop the video, me kuna. Here waiting this man talk. If you don't get hurt to tell this thing, may you not listen to him because this man's story, eh, it make me, not be only me, they make people they cry. I beg if you know the first time we say they come across my channel, make you not fail to hit the subscribe button, put on the notification bell so that you will continue to get update from this channel. To my old and my new returning subscribers, I appreciate all of you now. Tell they support this channel, they come. Trust me, I know if you take them for granted. I make you not fail to leave your comments. What do you think about this video? Like the video, share them also. Make people foresee what the Nigeria government they do. When I see the wife, see the tears, they say, they come out for your eye. Because this kind of thing, I'm paying so you say, you not go feel finish before you go finish. I said, the person will can't get enough money or enough time to take start another building. We'll be say good day like that again. You know, easy like seriously. Nigeria government they frustrate many of Nigeria citizens. This is very bad. This is really bad. Let's watch the video, guys. Thank you. This place, that this was your house. You living here before. Yes, this is a very horrible experience. I've, I, I, I never even read of a kind of thing that happened to me here. I can only tell you that I had this experience on the 21st and 22nd of January 2021. No primary, no prior no information of, of, of this kind of a thing. I have lived here for almost 15 years, 15 solid years. At this particular point, I began building of this place by 2002. And I have a bungalow where I have lived with my family for my, more than 15 years just behind here. I have, I was, I got this particular property where we are now from one late pastor, Gregory Lede Ukafo. He retired as a permanent secretary of Ministry of Lands. He gave me, sold this place with, you know, to me with a title document of certificate of occupancy that dated 1994. And he issued me with a deed of uh, assignment, which I registered in Ministry of Lands by then as well. I began development of this place. And after some time, I now discovered that I was always being robbed by thieves here. Then upon complaining to the police often, the police advised I should ward off where they were coming from. 
And I did tell, tell the police that, see, my own property ended somewhere here. And the other one is not mine, it is government. They say go to Ministry of Lands and um, apply for a location that they may give you. I, I hit to the advice and went to Ministry of Lands by 2001. Applied and they gave, I came here and they gave, came here and surveyed and saw that there was almost 2,700 square meters of unspent land of, of the state government. And they gave me their location and asked me to pay. The location then was 30,000. There were other miscellaneous fees I can't really remember now. But I, I hold this in my head that it was 30,000 I paid as a location fee. Then in those days, it was a process. When you pay for a location fee, you pay for processing fee, you pay for uh, survey, you pay for all these other things gradually because money was not as huge as we have them now. So the government was, you know, table on her citizens then so if you pay and you, you have gotten your allocation paper that that means then that you are now the almost the owner of that uh, property you can now develop but i didn't do that i just waited patiently finished all the necessary irregularities i mean of, on, upon the second part of this property and upon pro, upon this process it got finished concluded on by 2000 and, uh, 2007, sometime either September or November. And the present, the present chief of staff, the present chief of staff, Right Honorable Dr. Festus Suzo, was the then Commission of Lands. He was the one that signed the Certificate of Occupancy of Extension Number, extension number 17. So when I got it, I applied for another building plan approval of a bungalow and it was approved and during that time you must pay 10,000 naira for the engineers for the state engineers to come and supervise your foundation otherwise you, they will come they will come after you so they were here when i built that bungalow so we've been here from 2007 till 21st January 2021. <laughs> On a very evening, I came back from you know, my daily activities and I discovered that at the neighborhood there, Capital Territory came and marked at fences, remove walls, remove within 48 hours by 19 January. So when I came, I called some of my neighbors and said, What is happening? They said, they want to come, they may want to come and uh, do our road because uh, you can see that our road was 880. So we were all happy anyway, but I said, why would the construction of road, you know, involve removal of officially erected fences? I called our neighbors, called even the chairman of the neighborhood. We sat and said it could be uh, uh, um, um, construction of road anyway, that they may not touch the fences because the fences were officially laid. Because by 2000, I paid 3000 Naira for town planners to come and give me a permit to, to do my fence. And that 3000 Naira was part of re-establishment of beacons, so that you know where your road is. So, these fences we did here was purely an official state government transaction. So why will it be like that? So I went out on the 21st, I mean on the 22nd, 21st of uh, January. It was uh, somewhere that I was that my neighbor called me that, that Capital Territory came with equipment, you know, eight moving equipment. So. They came with caterpillars and bulldozers so, that we should come. And meanwhile, when they marked these, these, these fences, my own was not even marked. And that was why I was not too bothered. bothered. But it was only two days that they did this. You can see these places. I have boundaries. The second property has boundaries with Coast City Garden. Governor Chimaroke de developed Coast City Garden by 2007. 2007. And that was what gave value to this place. Because people never wanted here I am now. I was lonely. I was terrorized. I was. I was terrorized. I was attacked by armed robbers terribly. 
So, when I came, I saw the other side of the road that was not, you know, fully inhabited by people. But as I tell you, here is fully inhabited. No, none of these places were not being lived by people. Fully inhabited. But the other side was being, having a new construction. So I said, what could be this? We were asking, and I was standing by the side of the chairman's, chairman of the Capital 33's vehicle. And I saw him answering a call. He answered the call, he said, brown roof duplex, a bungalow. Brown roof duplex, a bungalow. And I said, he came down, I lighted from that, who owns that brown roof duplex and bungalow? I said, it is mine, though it has been given out to somebody that I am the owner. I said, go and bring the title document. I mean, the thumb, uh, uh, building plan approval. Lo and behold, with, the, with what was going on here, with the kind of demolition, because some houses that were not being lived, were being demolished, has even induced fear in me that could this demolition come to where we are living? What will I do? And lo and behold, it came. I went on with that, you know, intensity of that and brought out a, a, a copy of a, 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 an, a, a, build, a building approved plan, which was not this. And he said, no, 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 this is not the building plan. Bring it down. I, I'm telling you, within seconds, this duplex of five bedrooms, two sitting rooms, and, and, uh, and three bedroom uh, basement came down within seconds. You had a duplex here where we were sitting? Yes. It came down within seconds. And when he came down, he came down to this place and said, okay, this is the bungalow we were looking for. This is the bungalow we were looking for. That were his words. He marked the bungalow, marked where I was living with my children, marked the, uh, the boys' quarters where my old mother was staying then, and the warehouse that I was usually using then as, you know, for some... And told me he is going to bring it down within 24 hours. He said, remove within 24 hours. That was by 5.26 p.m. on Thursday, 21st January 2021. I cried, I held him on his foot. Where do you want me to go, Honorable Chairman? What did I do? What was, what have I, what have you, do, what have you done? Can you just come and tell me what you have done? You didn't tell me. He said, remove your things. That was the word. And left. My family cried. My daughter cried. He told my daughter, send me your account number. I will give you 100,000. Go and look for a house. We will pay, I will pay one year for you and your, your parents. My daughter, who has served this state at a little capacity as a lesser president, who promoted the good works of the governor of this state, in, in, it's official. It, we have, we, she has documentaries. She did for the good works the governor has done in Enugu State. Sincerely, we wept. Lo and behold, in the morning, I left to Minister of Lands to know exactly what was my, fun, my, my sins. What was my offense? Because uh, Minister of Land gave me these properties. And these properties are in Kumba. I used them to borrow money. As I speak with you now, I used that particular house I was living to borrow money from Bank of Agriculture. I have not paid off. 45 million. 45 million. That has multiplied re reasonably. I don't know how much it is now. So we begged. When I went to Minister of before I could come, they started calling me that by 9 o'clock, the chairman, Mr. K. No, no, has already arrived here on his supervision. Not that he did it in his absence. He was here with a lot of policemen and a, a lot of his workers and was instructing, bring down this. I will send some of the videos. You will see our property scattered here. You can see, as you are witness now, that scavengers are still take, praying on, on, on materials here. Up to, this is 61 days. Today is 61 days. Today is 23. 61 days of our anguish. 61 days of our penury. 61 days of, 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 of our adversity. I am not, I have never, I, am not, I have never been a criminal in life. I've never done anything to deserve this. So what I am saying is that I am in pains. My whole family is in pains. We don't have a place to live. We don't have an address as I speak with you now. 
We don't have my aged mother who, who was here. He's stroked now. He is. And I've cried to the governor. I've always cried to the executive governor of the state to hear me. Eventually, I've not been able to hear, get any reaction. But probably, he has not heard it. He has not been able to hear it because the same people who did this will equally shield, shield, shield away him from he listening. If this were to be a natural disaster, if he hears it ordinarily, he will come and know him now. Talk of this, what an, an injury that was being inflicted to me and my family by this agency. Assuming I committed any crime, assuming I, I took this property without even any, 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 any official documentation, wouldn't I be given an, an opportunity to pack away my things? Would it have been these 15 hours or 15 and a half hours they gave to me? And even not telling me what I have done, would it have been proper? Hmm? No, no respect to my life to live, to, for, 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 for my right to live as a human being and my family again. These children that are here now, I know that Ken Ono was once 21 years. He was, my son is 21, they would have killed him that very day. Ken Ono was 21 years sometime. And eventually he will grow. Unless he extincts us, all of us. How could he treat me like this? I've never gotten any form of, you know, misunderstandings with him. I, I'm not a politician. I don't have anything to do with politics. I've not, no, I have, I've always been saying on my support, on my personal support, because of the kind of Christian life the governor lives. If not, I will tell him to his face, oh, because they have done the uh, highest. If he has not been a good man, the governor, so to say, I would have said it to. The highest thing is they, they will look for me and kill me. But he has been very, very human. He doesn't like this kind of treatment. He does not. I wonder why they have been hiding my, my case before him. I have nothing, I have nothing incriminating. I, you can see here, what I used to do, I, used, I, I produce animal feeds. What the government is asking us to do is what I started so many years behind. I, I, am, I, I am into poetry and I like businesses. I manufacture, I am into nutrition. So, I don't know what I have done wrong. I am not a criminal. Where's your family now? Where's your wife? Where are your children? Where's your mother? My mother is keeping somewhere in a suburb now. Where my one of my nieces took her off. My wife has no place, almost squatting, just like as I am doing. You can see when you people called me, I had no place. We are squatting. My three kids are in school, in their hostels in school. When school closes, they will be hovering around now. My last child, who took a post ME exam that very day, this thing was happening, has run down to her, her uncle's house in, 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 a, in another state. I am baseless now, scattered. How, how much did it cost you to put up these buildings? I mean, the bungalow and then this duplex, Charlie, this duplex, which you recently. This duplex took me by 2003 to do. In fact, the calculation was around uh, 28 point something million then. That was what I used in putting up this duplex, though I've sold it. But the bungalow, I can't really uh, remember because it's a small bungalow. I don't really remember how much. It was then, but there are boys' quarters and. Uh, but but the, the issue is not even the property in question. What I lo I have a lot of equipments here and goods that was damaged here. The monies I borrowed from bank was here. It was. You can look, you look at them. Look at them. It is damaged completely. Pushed. You know, scavengers came and you can't hold them. We were here. We were here for just one night. Mosquitoes dealt with us that very night here. And we were watching them take this. There's nothing you can do. You, they, will, they, will, they will hit you with it. So uh, the, the value of what I lost here is, is, not, is not numerable. I must tell you the sincere truth. What is it? It is more than that. It is more than that. I have equipment here. 
machines that are parked here for you know for relocations that became vandalized vandalized and sold in scraps by these people do you regret building your houses in nigeria probably if you had your way would you have probably preferred you to? can see it ordinarily the next step i will take is to look for refuge i will ask for i will ask for uh, uh, what do we call uh, asylum. asylum i will run away from this state I run away from this state because will I fight the government? This is under a state government, you know, a, a, a arrangement. I will run away. That's what I can do. If I would be alive to run away, because ordinarily now, I am not healthy. They speculated that I should have died the following day. I think I, I don't know the reason of this. Whether it's going to be that of uh, 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 is that Herod and the Nabot in the Bible? Who is that person? Somebody who can. What really? What will I say? Somebody came here, no reason, no nothing. If I built on government property without documentary, would I have been treated this way? Ordinarily, if you go down here. There is a, a mad woman who used to keep down there. She has been shouting since this demolition because they removed where she was. She, 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 she used to stay. No respect to human life again. Eh? What exactly do you want the governor to do now? I mean, the, the, this terrible act has been done. Right? What, what I want is for the governor to hear this. I still believe that he has not gotten any knowledge of this happening. Or maybe if they told him, they didn't tell him the extent of what has happened. I want, if there is any way you can make the governor hear that human life is involved. He is a prayerful governor. He cannot allow this to, allow this to you know, continue. We are, we are of no address now. My children's address is always 17 extension. This is totally barbaric and inhuman. In the next how many years to come, I don't see Nigeria progressing. Like, for you to demolish a building like this, that what millions of Naira, as at then, he said only the duplex worth 28 point something million, not now. Not to talk of the business invested. The bungalow. This is this is terrible. I don't really understand. In Europe here, yeah, they don't demolish us, rather they renovate. You see many houses that have that have been abandoned by government in Europe here. Yeah. Most of our Nigeria people, they break into the house and they start living there. Oh my word, I watched this video, I was like, Nigeria, what is happening? Why Nigeria government, why are they frustrating human beings? Why? This is inhuman. Demolishing a house, it breaks down the economics of the country. Why? We have the next privilege. We have the off. We have the the widows. You give the house to them. Tell them this house was given. This house was built in government property. If peradventure it was built in government land, then you give the land to them. It seems as if maybe you just help a soul, not demolishing a house. Nigeria, waiting, waiting. They happen. <laughs> this one, they very bad. It they very bad, my wonderful people. Let's share our opinion at the comment section. What did you think about the video? Please leave your comment down below. Like the video, share the video, let the video go viral. So even if not Nigeria, other countries will have to see what Nigerians are doing to their citizens. And like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe till I come your way again. Stay cool, stay safe, stay calm. I love you all. Peace out. So on the 22nd of January, I said I was not able to stay to see the demolition.
because it was a it was a house we've lived in for the past 15 years when my kids they were still in nursery school it was a pathetic scene up till now i don't think i can even view the video or go down to that place anytime i remember that Anytime I remember it, but The first to enter the streets is the, the person that is being chased out for no just cause. No reason given to us up to today. No reason can the CEO of Capital Territory Tell, come and tell us what our crime is. Where we went wrong. What we did wrong. My kids are keep coming again. Hey. It's too hard on me. I don't like remembering it. I don't like remembering it. It's quite unfortunate. 